why parents, you work hard for your families, maybe harder than you need to, and that's probably because you're overspending on one big thing, your kids. Well, a new book titled Not Buying It aims to help parents get their spending under control. And joining us today is the book's author, Brett Graff. Hi, Brett. Good to see you. Good to see you. I love this topic. It is. It's important. Why do you think parents overspend on their kids? You know what? As parents, we have never had a more important job. And now we think that saying no to any particular purchase means saying no to education or no to health care um, or no to safety. And so we just keep buying. No one is telling us you don't need to buy it. But there's so many needs. I mean, babies need things. They need cribs and they need car seats and the, on and on and on. So how can parents figure this out? Well, you know, when you leave the hospital, you have to have a car seat, right? <laughs> and you have to have a crib. And, and this, is your first, this is your first job as a parent. Right. Okay, so you go and you, and you are going to be the best parent you can be and you buy the most expensive car seat and the most expensive crib. Let For me the say first baby, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> for the first baby. And, um, <laughs> and the thing about it is, all car seats and all cribs must undergo the same federal mm. inspection process. The most expensive ones are not safer. Brett, what does it do to kids' psyche when you're spending a lot of money on them early on? What's happening inside the brain? Well, I don't know what's happening inside <laughs> their, their brains, brain. but we are just making ourselves crazy, yep. and we're spending and spending and spending, and we're not putting the money um, where it really needs to go. If you really want to, if you really want to launch your child into greatness, the kid needs a college savings account. So instead of buying the most expensive um, of everything, you're better off. You know, buying insurance, buying dis life insurance, disability. Right. So, so smart. Um, continuing on the on keeping kids healthy. Yeah. There's so many pitfalls out there. Um, how do you? How are we doing that? How How are kids less healthy today? Maybe. Well, there are so many things that we can buy. The thing about natural medicine, for example, is it's supposed to be natural, right? As soon as corporations get a hold of it and um, package it, it's, it's really no longer natural. The American Academy of Pediatrics says that we can give kids one year and older honey and it cures the cough and it helps the kids sleep better. Now you're going to see every single cough medicine is made with honey. Uh, guess what? You can just buy the honey. This medicine here costs um, $11 and it's, I, it's I made with honey. Say, it's made with honey. It's six ounces. Uh, it, but, but the honey is kind of, um, it's just a tiny ingredient. You can buy a whole jar of <laughs> Funny oh, for half as much. Look at that. And you know, another thing is we're buy we buy a lot of antibacterial soaps. This actually yes. contains an ingredient that is known to be a hormone disruptor. What? Researchers have followed around, they followed around um, thousands of subjects and found that people who use uh, antibacterial soap are no healthier there's, than people who use regular soap. There's no, um, there's, there's no fewer incidences of colds, of coughs, of, of stomach illness. That's incredible. Wow, that's pretty spooky. Um, how do we help kids become less materialistic? See, that's a big problem now, right? And we, our kids need things, they want things. One of the they things. They have to have things. They, you know what? And they do have to have things. We have to buy. I mean, to be part of a civilized society, right? They need. They need. Those, they they need well, they need. They need. You know, certain clothes, and so I mean, you can't go to uh, you know an event under. But one of the things that we're doing is we are inadvertently raising materialistic kids and one way we do that is we reward them for a job well done and it seems like the right thing to do sure. doesn't it yeah. but what happens is it takes the focus off of the accomplishment and onto the commercialized compensation. We still want to reward them. One of the things we can do is we can give them experiences, tickets to events, so take them out for frozen yogurt. Interesting. We're rewarding the rewards. Right. We're really focusing. We're saying they stop thinking about meeting those um, personal intrinsic goals. And I know this sounds so tacky and so cliche, but kids want to spend time. That's the best gift you can give. Mm -hmm. Those are the memories. It's not the bag of, you know, this, but it's the memories. You know, it's spend. funny that you mentioned that because they also found that kids who felt loved and supported by their parents were less materialistic. There you go. Great book. Thank you so much. Thank Good you. meeting Great you. For to be more here. information, everyone, visit thehomeeconomist.com.